What's up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video. And oh my lord, last night was just crazy. Oh dude, I have not been able to get a wink of sleep. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get some sleep today, but I got work to do. I gotta pump out a few, a few videos. Uh, as you guys know, uh, Keemstar uh, from Drama Alert, Saturn Craig, it's a Gundam. They all came to my stream and decided to hop on and we had a lovely conversation about our favorite dude DSP and how he decided to lose his mind last night and attack Thutter and Craig and his crew over an interview. Over an interview and most actually not the interview itself but attacking them for the post interview where they talked about the interview, they talked to, they, they read super chats and they give their, they gave their thoughts um on the interview and how they felt phil conducted himself uh whether he was truthful or not and they kind of explored those things and it got back to phil and of course the dents decided to tell phil that they were bashing him they were trashing him they were they were calling him a liar and none of that was true none of it so phil decided to do an impromptu uh react event last night where he went over the whole um, uh, side scrollers podcast that occurred yesterday around midday where they discussed the interview and proceeded to trash Craig and Adam and the crew after they actually went ahead and tried to help this guy and give him an, op give him an opportunity to tell his side of the story and to answer critical questions, which he did not do. Anyway, Let's hear what he has to say. And big ups to everybody. Big ups to all the boyfriends. I appreciate you guys holding my hand in the interview. Again, I apologize. Uh, I just, I was taken aback. I wasn't prepared for this and I tried to do my best. So hopefully you guys would understand. So let's hear Phil. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was, geez, who even knows anymore, right? I think today was Friday, maybe. <laughs> yes, I think today was Friday, March 17th, 2023. The reason I say that is, as you know, there's been a lot of chaos around here recently with drama and nonsense, and I'm done with it. I'm officially 1 million percent done with it as of right now. I'm not entertaining it anymore. Uh, I had basically an experiment yesterday with an interview that I did on Side Scrollers, and I felt that the interview was done well and was fair, even though there was a lot of people who disagreed with me. I defended those guys, said I think they did a good job, and it was kind of what I was expecting. Um, I did not expect for today to go as it did. In summary, as I was starting my stream of Hogwarts Legacy today, I'm informed they're doing a two and a half hour hate session on you. Like literally their whole stream is them crapping on you saying one million percent they believe everything, all the bad things about you. And, uh, you know, taking in a million super chats that are everyone is negative about you. It's literally all of your detractors are on their stream crapping and they love that they're getting the attention that they're getting. So, you know, I'm like, oh, that's nice, you know. Okay, that is not true. That is not true. I actually was on uh, the Side Scrollers podcast uh, when they were conducting it, and essentially they were reading Super Chats. Now, Phil, what he decided to do was just look at the Super Chats from the detractors, and yes, some detractors did go out there and provide support and gave their comments, um, you know, through Super Chats. There's nothing wrong with that, Phil. I I'm not sure. For someone that's crowdfunded like yourself, right? I don't know why you're crapping on Craig and Adam for accepting super chats you're just jealous you are jealous that they made money off of this interview they got viewerships they got memberships and you got nothing and you're jealous now you're not only just jealous phil you were trying to find a way to get out of doing a second interview and you were trying to find a way to avoid sending craig the screenshot the information that he requested so when you got word from your dents and they lied to you that they were crapping on you you said, okay, that's my out. I'm going to make a big spectacle about this. I'm going to scream and rant and rave. And I'm going to call Craig and them scumbags. And I'm never going to appear on their show. That was your out. That, that's exactly what you did, Phil. And if you were an honest broker, you would have reviewed the whole two-hour podcast and see for yourself. Because they said nice things about you. They talked about how they admire that you stayed there, that you were there for five hours. They appreciated that you did. You were willing to answer certain things. Yes, they were critical of you for not answering specific things, and they gave their opinions on what they thought, whether you were being honest or not about WW Champions, your bank leaks, 
the five thousand uh, dollars for your the, for the bankruptcy and they gave their opinion that they felt like you were being dishonest and they didn't crap on you they just said they didn't believe you and you even on the interview said it's every you know people can have their opinion on what they believe i can't convince anyone i can just give my side of the story they heard your side of the story and essentially said they don't believe it because you are not willing to provide any um proof of what you're saying and one of the big things they had is that they 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 have enough common sense to look at the information and see that there's fire there or smoke they see smoke and when they're asking you to come on board and stomp out that fire we're giving you a chance to do it or own up to it you refuse you double down and you essentially say i don't know what that's from you you try to plead ignorant and blame others you try to blame your tax lawyer you try to blame uh the judge in your bankruptcy you tried to blame detractors and they didn't buy it phil no one bought it and you thought that you were going to skirt around this and just have a puff piece interview and be like whatever and then the next time you're going to be on you were going to be on to as a guest and everyone knew that wasn't going to be the case except for you phil all right let's keep going a supposedly fair unbiased interview the day before and then the next day destroy me when i'm not there to defend myself that sounds like a professional attitude but not surprised apparently these guys made so much money uh, on the show yesterday that they probably just couldn't resist doing it doing a second show about me well i wasn't there of course so you know i did an entire giant stream of hogwarts legacy today it was actually a longer gameplay stream than i usually do it was like three and a half to four hours of gameplay we beat the game that's the good news there was no level one podcast today by the way there was a brief video it was like maybe 30 40 minutes that was me just talking with my audience and that was it and then the level one podcast it will be will resume tomorrow just so you guys know okay um anyway so then the first stream was hogwarts legacy and it was it was yeah no one no one cares about that phil no no one cares about hogwarts legacy what they care about is you ranting and raving like a madman that's what people care about because you came off looking like a lunatic phil i i'm serious i i i was following your 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 react and i had about 1200 people in my chat uh and you sounded insane phil everybody just couldn't believe how erratic and crazy you sounded and everyone kept pointing out the fact that why are you keep focusing on money what what business is yours what business is it of yours that uh Stuttering Craig and his team made whatever amount of money. Now you claimed it was twenty thousand, it wasn't. Stuttering Craig was came on my podcast last night along with Keemstar and Gundam, and Stuttering Craig gave the figures out. He didn't make twenty thousand dollars. He said he made one thousand nine hundred and about sixty bucks. He was on about honest and told us which he didn't have to do. We didn't ask. But he felt like he wanted to be transparent and tell people, hey look, this is what we, we made and this figure that Phil is throwing around is inaccurate. So, you know, I just find it funny and hilarious that the man that begs, the man that's crowdfunded, right, is shitting on someone, shitting on another content creator because they uh, rely on uh, people giving memberships, uh, giving super chats, giving tips or whatever the case is. They rely on that. And you're here crapping on them because they had a good day. You should be happy for their success. I'm not jealous of them. I'm happy for their success. I, I don't mind that they made that kind of money. Big ups to them. They did an awesome job in the interview and they did an awesome job in the follow-up, Phil. And you're just salty because you're still walking around. You know, you, I think you made, what, 180 bucks on one stream? That was the max you made? You should be happy for that, Phil. You should be happy because you made some money too off of this podcast. You didn't make a lot of money, but you still made money, Phil. And you're just salty that the whole internet, everyone that watched this, now has a negative negative view about you every single person that not every single the vast majority of people that watched that interview admitted and said yeah you're lying yeah you're not being truthful yeah you you sound like a maniac <laughs> oh my lord oh 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 lord and then the funny thing is you talk about cat watching the video and she was upset and then you say she watched 15 minutes of it 15 minutes of over a two hour react podcast yeah that, that that's not enough content you gotta at least watch an hour at least watch an hour give them an hour to see what they said because again they did have positive things to say about you phil all right let, let's keep going in this because I, I don't know how much longer i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna do this uh video but uh, i wanted to focus on the highlights of course good and bad and let me explain the ending of hogwarts was good 
I liked it. I liked the story ending. The final boss was actually pretty good. Uh, what I didn't like was that there was content that was story content for the main, like, quest lines for your character, you know, your friends. There's Natty, there's Poppy, there's Sebastian, <clears throat> and, uh, their quest lines didn't end. I was like, what? No, you beat the game, then their quest lines continue. I was like, what? Like, why wouldn't those missions have popped up earlier? It didn't make any sense to me at all, actually, that they did that. I mean, what the heck? Like, I want to beat the game, but I want the content before it, not after. And then on top of that, once you beat the main game, there's, like, a couple of post-game story segments, but you have to be level 34 to do them. Well, I beat the game at level 31, no problem. So how do I get to level 34? Grind for a couple hours in the repetitive side content? I tried leveling up my equipment and it didn't do anything. I was still level 31. I'm like, wow, they kind of screwed the ending of this game up because I wanted to see the epilogue, couldn't see it, uh, and I didn't have enough time. Why am I going to do side quests after I've already beaten the main story of the game? It just doesn't really make sense. I feel like the, the end game structure of the game is very flawed, okay? But overall, I enjoyed it. You can see the conclusion on DSP Gaming if you would like. Um, I was going to do a late night stream of Like a Dragon Ishin, but considering the fact that Side Scrollers did a two hour crap, two and a half hour, excuse me, crap fest on me. Tonight's late stream was me and a two hour special stream on DSP Reacts, where I revealed that the entire thing was essentially a setup from the get go that Craig and company had only been exposed to information about me that was from my detractors. They literally did not ask anyone on the positive side of things about anything, you know. They didn't ask fans, nothing. It was just, let's listen to the detractors for two weeks and ask Phil the detractor questions. That was it. That's not a fair and balanced interview. Uh, so I revealed that to everyone because Craig emailed me with information proving that. That's nice, you know? So anyway, um, you know, we talked about that. I reacted to their podcast from the morning. It lasted about two hours. And uh, that's that. As of now, I'm no longer appearing on anyone else's shows. I refuse. If someone wants to appear on my show, like DSP Reacts and do like an interview there or just talk with me there, I I'm willing to do that. Because at least there I can control the trolling. And it's not just about people taking fucking negative super chats about me and shit. You know? Well, outside of that, I am no longer going to appear on anything. You want my full opinion on everything, just watch the video over on DSP Reacts tonight. It's a two-hour long video. But in conclusion, I'm like, you know, the whole thing was, was an experiment anyway. I was curious what would happen. And truly, I feel like no one on this planet will be neutral to me anymore. I don't feel like at all that I'll ever get a fair shake at all from anyone ever again. There you have it, folks. The most thin-skinned man in the world who can't take any criticism, just criticism whatsoever, is complaining that the side uh, scrollers podcast took negative screen, uh, uh, negative snap, uh, excuse me, super chats. Craig, when I mean Craig, Phil, when you get a super chat that's negative or a tip, you don't return it back. You don't say no, no, no. I'm, I'm charging it back. I, I don't want that. No, you accept it and you say thank you, thank you for trolling, thank you for being a troll. And hey, money, thanks. No, this is what you say, Phil. Thanks for the money, dummies, because that's what you are. You're a bunch of fucking dummies. Isn't that what you say? Isn't that what your attitude is, Phil? When you take negative super chats or negative tips, right? You don't give that money back. So why are you shitting on Craig and his crew for accepting super chats that may have been negative towards you, towards you? Now, you guys watch my videos. You guys heard my comments. You know that this was all an attempt by Phil to try to lure new, new potential den heads to his uh, stream. And hopefully a few, you know, a few of these new people will become whale supporters. And so that he can continue this cycle of perpetual, uh, 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 people that pay him because that's what he wants to do he wants to keep doing the same thing he's doing today right and, and have these dents in waiting or in full effect giving him money and that's why he complains about the podcast with keemstar because he doesn't want to be beholden to keemstar because keemstar will hold his feet to the fire and say hey dude you gotta work hey you can't be coming late you can't be sleeping at 10 o'clock in the morning you gotta do some work and he doesn't want that he rather rely on pitiful sense to give him super, you know to, so that he can beg and give him tips and super chats he'd rather rely on them because he's not beholden to them he could do whatever the hell he wants how many times has phil said you tip me you super chat me that's the end of it. it i don't owe you anything and that's why phil won't work with keemstar or anyone else because he knows that he would be beholden to someone and phil can't be be beholden to anyone in the world and that's the reason why he's in the position he's in right now. He is so stubborn and so pig-headed that he can't realize that everyone is looking at him and saying, you're crazy, you're a madman. You do not live in this world. You do not live in this reality. And he is the only person plus, you know, his dents 
that believe the shit that comes out of his mouth. And it's just utter ridiculous. Anyway, that's all I got to say about this. Again, if you guys want to watch the video, it's out there. It's long, uh, but I time stamped it. I think it starts at the two hour and 45 minute mark where uh, Keemstar, Craig, uh, it's a Gundam. They come on and, and they just kill it. I was just there as an observer. I chimed in from time to time. Again, I apologize. I didn't give all the lore outright, but your boy duty was a little nervous. But thank you everyone that came out and supported. I really do appreciate it. Anyway, peace out.